Hey guys, welcome back to Wacky Engineering, and today we're going to upgrade this dune racer. So the plan today is to upgrade this from the original 12 volt battery to a DeWalt 20 volt battery. And we're also planning on doing the gearboxes and motors. We got some 24 volt motors and upgraded gearboxes that have some metal gears in them. If you guys want to see any more content like this, we have a couple more videos that we've done similar builds on, so check those out. All right, here's our adapter for a DeWalt 20 volt battery. We opted for the fused version. And looks like it came with a 30 amp fuse, 12 gauge wire. Hmm, we're gonna move forward. So we're just gonna snip these wires. We're gonna leave a little bit of length just in case we wanna reuse this adapter ever, which I doubt we will, but. So we'll just strip these wires and then we'll slap on our uh, off-brand Wago here. Do the old tug test, all right. Okay, we'll test it out real quick. Okay, now we're gonna change out the motors and gearboxes. So we're just gonna start pulling some covers to get them out of our way. Okay, now we can pop this part. After removing all these screws, there was four screws coming up from the bottom, and then this just lifts off. Okay, here's our factory gearboxes and motors. Here's our upgraded ones, and these actually have a fairly good amount of weight to them, so uh, I can tell there's some metal gears in here. I think two of the gears are metal and the rest are plastic, but uh, definitely an upgrade. So we'll get to working on opening these up and switching these out. Okay, pop that off. So like we've got a little cotter pin in here. So this other side, we're gonna leave the wheel on. We'll just slide the axle out. This just lifts right out. So whenever we pulled this gearbox out, we noticed the new one has this little, uh, I don't know, little axle guide on it or whatever, and it won't fit in here, but since the axle rests or rides through here, we're gonna go ahead and just opt to cut this little hub off here and uh, then get it to slide in. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Oh, they soldered these. Okay, we'll unsolder them real quick then. So we're gonna unsolder the wires to the original motors and then we'll slap the new ones in. So these just lift right out. And our uh, new ones are just a tiny bit tighter fit because uh, there's just a little bit of plastic there, but should be good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna actually just touch the wires and uh, hit the throttle to make sure it's going the right direction before we solder these on. So I'll have you hit the gas button and I'm just gonna touch these. Okay, hit the gas. Okay, wrong way. And just to double check. Yep, that's forward. So on this side, our black one's gonna be on the bottom. So we'll do the same side, or same thing for this side. Just to make sure we get these on right. goes on top. All right, we could have uh, cut the connectors off, but I actually like that they're soldered because uh, these 
sometimes can be a little loose and fall off or have a bad connection. So, all right, now we're ready to go back together. Okay, we'll start slapping some of these covers back on. Well, that's with 160 pounds on it. Okay, so this was our 20 volt upgrade with the 24 volt motors and gearboxes. Overall, it was a success. I think uh, we're gonna do another video in the future to make it a little bit faster, but for now, we can switch out the batteries. The kids are gonna have fun with it. So overall, I'd say good deal. Well, as you can see, they're having some fun. I think we're definitely gonna go with 40 volts here pretty soon, but they can have fun now in the meantime. <laughs> 